clearly, we're all fascinated by before and after pictures. But my next guest, transformation isn't about what it looks like on the outside. It's what changes on the inside that counts. Looking in the mirror today, I love the woman that I see, but that wasn't always the case. Back in 2016, I weighed over 220 pounds. I knew something had to change, and I thought that losing weight would fix those issues. So in 2018, after two years of hard work and dedication, I had lost 85 pounds. I'd reached my goal weight. I was fitting into a size two, which I had never done before. But when I looked in the mirror, I was still unhappy with what I saw. I know it seems silly, but it wasn't until that exact moment that it hit me that being skinny doesn't matter if you don't love who you are. That was Chandler Sosby, who joins me now from her home in Houston, Texas. Chandler, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. You know, when you see these pictures in the fitness magazines or on social media, um, you can see this idea of being fit and being thin means happy. You saw past that once you got to that goal weight. How soon did you yeah. realize that? Um... <laughs> It definitely wasn't right away. I was two years into my journey. Uh, when I started in 2016, I was in a really low place just in life. I was at, at the time I was in a toxic relationship. It was a long-term relationship and that had really done a number kind of on my mental state. Mm. So when I looked in the mirror, I didn't just hate my body. I hated myself. Oh. And I thought that starting a fitness journey and becoming skinny was going to fix all of those problems. I at least thought it was going to start fixing those problems. Well, no, and I think that's relatable <laughs> on many levels. People think if I get the right job, I'll be okay. If I get the right mm -hmm. car, I'll, I'll be happy. If I get the right man or woman or whoever in my life, I'm gonna be okay. And then yeah. you get that thing you think you want and it reveals mm -hmm. something else, something else that you might've been masking. What do you think was at the root of it for you? Well, for me, when I got down, when I kind of hit that goal weight, it was actually a shock. I was looking at photos of my body where I was severely underweight and it kind of realized that like, oh, like not only have I hit the goal, but I've gone too far. And I was still unhappy with what I was seeing physically because like you said, I was comparing my body to fitness inspirations and to, you know, what you see in the magazines or TV. And I was just really, I was still wanting to see more fat loss in specific areas. But unfortunately we can't control where we- Well, it was never good enough. It got above. to the point yeah. where it was never good enough. You know, like you said, you just right. kept seeing this issue and that issue. So what did you do to- once you recognize it was deeper than that, what did you do to correct it in your life? Well, I just really focused more on how I felt versus mm. how I looked. Mm. And I started lifting more weights and putting on more muscle and fueling my body properly. And that really kind of helped with the physical aspect. And then for the mental aspect, uh, it's really, it's a, it's a long journey and you have to kind of get real with yourself and focus on, you know, the, the parts of yourself that you do like while being honest about the parts of yourself that you don't and yeah. kind of approaching them of like, what can I do to help myself change this? I love that. I mean, you are an inspiration. I think that it's easy oh, to get again you. these weight loss tips and this, but it's, it's the mind and it's the soul it part of it. <laughs> that we're all trying to fix every day. Well, congratulations on everything. Thank you. And we appreciate you sharing your story with us. Thank you. Keep it going. Of course. Mind, Thank body, you. and soul.